Dookies, Andy Loop here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial and Leoran board tutorial. Today we're looking at an extension that thankfully Christina's made absolute great work from her again using Clip It. This will take any clip, so any person in your chat could type exclamation mark clip followed by a title and it will create a clip in Twitch and send it directly and post it to your Discord. Incredible. This tool is so powerful. There's so much that you can do with Leoran Board. So if you've not seen my basics on how to get that set up, check that out just up there. And for the rest of the time, press that little like button. It'll help me massively. And also subscribe because I've got tons of future content on this and other things to make your streams go next level. Okay, guys, put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So this is super simple to set up, we're going to need a couple of things, so obviously the on board and OBS, but we'll also need an extension which is called Clip It, all the links are going to be in the description below, so don't worry. If you do need any further help with this or you're struggling, please join the Leon on board Discord, we're always happy to help in there, or even just join the, the Lippy committee as well, we're, we're going to help out there. So I've got OBS open right now just here, we need to go into Leon on board, so make sure you've got that uh, extension uh, downloaded and ready, we're going to open the receiver go into the the receiver just here we're going to install the extension so we're going to open that up and we're going to install extension just here press that select the extension file it should be in your downloads or wherever your downloads go to and it's clip it You're about 18 to 20 kilobytes we're going to open that up and then now we need to select transmitter so we go to the leoran board folder and you'll see TSL underscore transmitter. We're going to open that up and we're going to replace it. That's fine. If you've got Clip It installed, it's going to ask if you want to replace it. So I'm just going to say yes so you can see this section. The extension seems to contain a deck example. Do you want to add it? So yes, we do. We've got a an, it's added this Clip It extension just here. Once that's done, we're just going to close down the Oran board. So get that closed off. And then now I want you to delete the connect file just here inside this connect file it has all your details like the all tokens and stuff like that we're just gonna re just delete that whole file just there and then we're gonna reopen the Oran board so reopening it will ask us if we want to go through this tutorial no we don't we've used it before that's fine it's not gonna reset any setting uh, any of your decks or anything like that it's only gonna reset the the master settings so I'm gonna adjust these ports you don't need to do with it it is just for this video so don't worry about that just press accept and ignore it and we're going to link to Twitch now. So link your Twitch. And you'll get this big URL. Rather than just opening it, we're going to copy it. So make sure you do copy it. And we're going to go to whatever browser we're using. I'm having to use Edge for this. So I'm logged in as my other half. Just here. So paste it in there. Don't press enter. We need to type some more. We're going to type in plus, clips, colon, edit. Just like so. And it'll look exactly the same as that. Once you've got that, press enter. And now it's going to get the authorization code, which is just this here. From this is after equals and before the and sign just there, that is your authorization code. So I'm just going to copy that now with control C, close that down, and it's going to uh, get the token perfectly fine. Press close, and that is all done. Next up, we're going to connect to OBS, just like so. And we're going to connect to Twitch as well. But I need to open up the... Uh, the transmitter if you've got the transmitter open already close it and reopen it otherwise it won't work it won't have the clip it extension installed and working so make sure it says clip it extension is there get that minimized and now i'm going to open this and connect to twitch that's all connected so now it'll be checking all channel point redeems and twitch chat and everything like that scroll down to the clip it extension just here and we've got two buttons. You don't need to worry about the clip it one. The only time you ever need to edit this is if you don't want to send the clip to Discord. Change that to zero if you don't want it to be sent to Discord. If you do, just leave it as one. The, uh, Christina's put a ton of comments in here, just similar to what I do. It just tells you everything that's going on in this code. So you can change it a little bit if you want to, but it will work as standard. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna hit cancel and go to clip it initialize. So if we press edit commands, You'll see we've got this whole section here. Christina again has put all the comments to explain what all these are. The auth token that we copied earlier, we're going to paste in there now. We've got channel ID, leave us channel ID, and the webhook is for your Discord. So we need to get Discord. Open up Discord. I'm going to go to the Lippy Committee in Twitch Clips. So whichever channel you want to add this to, go to there. Integrations. Press webhooks. And we're going to add a new webhook. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as Captain Hook for now because that's gonna get changed. You can change a photo on there, give it whatever name you want. Once you've done that, press copy webhook URL. I'm just gonna close that down now and go back and paste the webhook directly into there. The text here is what's going to be put into Discord, so a new clip was created, you can change that to whatever you like. The username is what you're going to call the, the bot, so I'm going to put clip bot test in there, just so you know that it is the test. Change the colour of the embedding, so if you look inside here, that's the embed colour there, you can change that to whatever you want. Jumping over to the website there, mathisfun.com, you can select the colour in there because it's using uh, decimal uh, colours. Once that's all done, press done, simple as that, hit done again, I'm just going to press start streaming on this one, so it's all up and running, because you've got to be live, otherwise Twitch won't be pulling any clips or anything like that. So once that's done, we can now type in exclamation mark clip into chat, so Bethy J there has typed in clip. So sometimes you might get an error like this, okay? Sometimes that could be Twitch's problem, but nine times out of 10, it's probably because you need to restart Leon and Bud. Once you've done everything that you've changed all the settings in there and everything like that, we need to restart Leon and Bud to get the program to initialize properly. So if I open up Leon and Bud again, I know there's a lot of opening and close, but it's just the way it is, okay? Just get over it. <laughs> Press connect to OBS, connect back up to Twitch as well. And that is going to basically verify the auth code and make sure that that has been initiated on here. So if I now type in exclamation mark clip just here, it will pull the clip like so. You can see this is the clip by Beffy J because uh, she was the one that typed it. And if I go to Discord, you would see a new clip was created from clip bot test just like so. You can actually go one step further with this as well and type in clip and anybody can use this. I'll show you how you can change that as well. Typing uh, this is another test. So type that in there. And that's going to create that clip with the title, this is another test. It might not do it straight away because this is all dependent on Twitch. It doesn't like to take multiple clips really quickly is the, the only issue with it. There we go. So it's worked the second time. As you can see there. So it kind of stops people spamming it as well, which is good because then your Discord won't get spammed. You can put a time limit on it as well if you wanted to. But if I go to Discord now, you'll be able to say, a new clip was created. This is another test, just like so. If you wanted to change any of the settings, so if we go to clip extension and you wanted it to be only moderators or something, if you go to uh, edit Twitch triggers on the clip it button, you can then just change these to moderator or subscribers and things like that, just like so. You can edit that in there. Hit done, hit done again, and that is pretty much it everything that there is to it it's it's a little bit getting your head around but as long as you follow the video and you follow the steps i left a couple of mistakes that will happen in there just so you if you run into that issue you can easily fix it nine times out of ten it's just restarting transmitters or the the leoran board receiver itself that will fix it if you've got any questions let us know in the comments below also join the discords so join the the lippy committee and also leoran board discord Anything else that I can help you with, just make sure you press that like button and subscribe because I've got loads of free content for you. Remember, if you do want it early, come and join us on Patreon. The link is in the description as well. It's a massive help. It doesn't just help me. It helps the whole community because it makes me keep this content completely free. So it's free to all. All right, guys, put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make me make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.